Greetings all friends and family and monsters of all ages. Next one we do is <laughs> Halloween's Grinch Night, titled Grinch Night, a sing-along video. They're also terrible and frightening. <clears throat> in Whoville, in the night known as Grinch Night, with the comment when sour sweet wind started to blow, chant, and everything caused from the green grass from the hawk and corks, the pomp and grinch, and terrorizing who believes in such nights as a perfect night for Grinch Night. Everything started so peaceful and quiet until everything started waking and quaking and cracking. Till one family went to their little house to hide from the dick and dangers of the Grinch. Then one of the little little boy you go right I keeps asking these questions and asking with the same phrase as any book like you go right says or you go right says or the Grinch says and this has been talking like so many times in my life. But all is, is the Grinch comes down to come with his pal of a fairy on the area of racking, or for short, the fear wagon. Each time he comes, he does the most cruelest thing crushing flowers, crushing fruits, even threatening to kill almost a cute little fuzzy little creature. Then Yukariah had to go use the euphemism, which meaning bathroom. But as he was trying to get near it, unfortunately, he got carried by the wind. And then he was brought to the Grinch himself. Yukariah found found the little found Grinch's dog Max all alone and mean, being set to be beaned. As we mean me by meaning, as he's being a meanie to little Maxie. Then Yukariah tries to stand up to him several times, but even try to stop this from happening. And Yukariah's family doesn't know what has happened to the lost little lad. So. In the final end of his with uh, that, we see that the Grinch has many powers. He can get small, he can get tall. And it seems he had powers at night. In the Christmas present, we never see these powers. But perhaps this has only happened on Grinch night. So finally, the Grinch couldn't take any more. So you could write stand there. I will not flinch. Then, as he opened up the power of an Erica wagon, then everything started going crazy! Creatures, monsters, creeps, and crawls all over the place just like a nasty crawls. They started gathering around him, making him scared, but then, as it again and again and again, again scarier and scarier, mocking voice, I threw he's scared out of his wit, you could really keep his toes long, enough for the sour sweet wind to die down, though. As soon as, as, soon as he smelled it, the sour sweet winds were gone, and then he closed the pal rain wagon and he said, You know, sir, you know, sir, the South Street wind is over. So that means the clown crack crackle, the hockey streak shackles, and that means Grinch is over. Well, I be Grinch, as the Grinch says. And then the whole town says, I be Grinch. And so, due to the fact of Yukariya saving, saving his town from the grappling hand of the Grinch's evil claws, the Grinch suddenly goes up Mount Crowbit. But it's left behind, left behind Max. He wanted Max to come with him, but Max says, <laughs> and goes like, bup, 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 bup. Would you go right to be his dog? To be loved and kind. And now, with Yukariah back in Hoodville, the residents including Yukariah's Grandma Josiah and Grandma Mariah and Sister Ohio and Bethiah. Ugh, man, these names are sure old fashioned. Celebrate Little Who Courage, who prevailed the Grinch from Elise in the paraphernalia wagon. Full horror of their town. Up in the mountains, the Grinch, who's hauling the wagon, now hauls himself a million to the note that one day, there'll be another Grinch night when South Street will blow, and she says, I'll be back! <laughs> and there you have it. Now, I enjoyed watching this. The first time I saw this was not when I was a kid, but when I was in high school. I was 16 years old, I was researching all my specials for October to watch, and when I found this piece of uh, past nostalgic, it's fun to watch. It's really cute. But also, then I'm going to give you a small tip before I continue on with this big reveal. The special has been proven accepted by a prequel of How the Grinch Show Christmas. 
new scholarship on the film had brought ideas and content. In 2014, the Antics Now Default website of Grant Land, Holly Anderson, provided an interesting commentary on the support of the idea that Grant's night is back a sequel, and on it argued that Max leaving the Grant's lives with Uriah at the end of the story proved Grant's night is much more comes and the Grinch Christmas entirely scenes Max playing a prominent role helping the Grinch do Christmas. Sequel, back in the theory, argued the Grinch, Hart may have shrunk back to size after Christmas, causing the Grinch to return to his evil ways. Remember that a prequel camp counselor of arguing the Grinch could have simply stolen Max back between Halloween and Christmas to make the original story people back arguing the Grinch at last heart at the end of the Grinch on Christmas would mean the Grinch remained good and loving. So the Grinch's great nice must occur first in the Surge University. It has been struggled that Max is actually two completely different dogs. The relevant problem is the system to the Grinch in the end of the Grinch night only continued error exists of both theories and the debate cannot be resolved. That's all I have to say, folks. So I hope you enjoy it. And also, part two will be happening because I'll be doing a um a video, but no, I have to go use the restroom. See ya folks. Be right back in a minute. Greetings, folks. Our next review will be the Halloween that almost wasn't. After hearing rumors from TV newscasts portrayed by Andre Duncan, the Halloween may end being blamed on Dracula. How dare they struggle such a thing! Halloween is my natural holiday! And he calls the world's most famous monsters, Warren the Werewolf, aka the Wolfman, Shabia the Zombie King of Hotiti, Mummy of Egypt, and of course Frankenstein and the Witch. Cast to make them frightened again. Dracula believes that the problem is that the monsters have exploded their monsterhood to the point of being funny rather than scary. For example, Frankenstein monster a movie influenced him into tap dancing. And it turns out the rumor about Halloween coming to an end stated by the witch of and the witch I had it with these ugly wizards. I had it. I don't wanna be the uglier anymore. I don't want any ugly jokes. I wanna be free, do things that I wanna do. I don't wanna be called ugly anymore. And she definitely would not want to be with me to participate. Without her annual right over the moon, there can't be no Halloween. She has prepared a list of demands, which Draco refused to meet. And she rides off on her own castle. Then Draco pursued her in his bath form, which was my finding to watch. Which is kind of corny. These days, when I was a child, I adore this movie. But unfortunately, she was going to her as soon as she got to her castle. And unfortunately, the summer's come out, though, Dracula had to go back home. The summer's about to come up again. He goes back to his mom. But unfortunately, he wasn't able to because the door was closed. You go, I tell you, Gore, oh, the clothes. But no, he gets the door, he gets the clothes. I tell him, open it, no, it's closed. As he walks in and does it. But then during this time, during this time, the monsters, Hayden, this is what the witch was doing. There are two little girls, there are two children watching TV with their parents prepare for their Halloween costumes. One little boy dressed up as a scarecrow, and the other, well, you'll see for yourself in the next part. They were asking, without Halloween, it wouldn't be no fun. And the mom and dad told him that the Halloween is a celebration for the end of the new year. Back then, at least. And Halloween is a wonderful holiday to help you celebrate and scare the monsters away and enjoy candy. Which is one of my favorite times. Well, not the candy anymore. I'm diabetic now. <laughs> In any case. Then the next evening, all the night before Halloween, he and the other monsters break into the witch's castle, and they had the corner by turning the paint and three musketeers into, well, to help them out, but a brief chase scene, like a Scooby-Doo scene, like, boop, 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 they walk all over the place, they walk all over, they chase in the witch's corner of the room, but they an Igor, and he has her broom, and Dracula turns into a bat, agreed to sneak under the door, but gets smashed by the witch to come back, and <laughs> he's like, mm -hmm. Like that with Igor's face. He was a cute little bat. That was adorable. I like little black bats. They're so cute. And then he climbed in. He tries to see if he can try to climb the edge in the room through the window. A hunchback Notre Dame style. Only to have the witch open the door as he goes right back outside. It's one day or another. I wish I was dead. Dracula declared. And stay dead. After Dracula finally gave in to witch demands, including a ransom adding the list for him to take his disco dancing every year. She suddenly changed her mind and decided not to go along. But then suddenly, two little steps walking up the stairs, and then, then hear a voice, Please, Miss Witch, please go fly on night. I love Halloween, and you shouldn't just stop doing Halloween. We love Halloween. But then the witch thought it was Dracula doing a kid's voice, but then when she looked into the lock, she sees two kids. But I can't even have to know how we won't be trick or treating. No dressing up, no having fun. No dressing, being something different, you're not. 
And then when the witch opens the door, she says, she says, You look just like me. This is my favorite costume, Miss Witch, and I love wearing it. And touched by the children's love and compassion for her for Halloween, she goes off. But a bit before that, and then Dracula asks, Oh, so you're going to go back on this crazy witch? Which have you asked me for? Not in your life. I want you to fulfill these demands. If you don't, I'm backing out. I'm only doing this for the kids. And then she floated over the moon. It was Halloween. And believe me, Halloween is a wonderful thing. And she rides off the moon as promised. The film concluded with a disco scene with the witch transforming into disco queen resembling Stephanie Mangino by doing doing Wonder Woman style spin. Discord fired. Discord figured he may as well go with the flow and rip up his costume. Reveal Tony Manru. Yes, Lizzie is still influenced by Saturday Night Fever. Yes, following the debut of 1979, the movie stared at a regular as part of Disney Halloween treat and Disney Halloween special. However, until it was blocked and replaced through its release on VHS, has never been released on DVD. Boo! Somehow I found the copy of it though, and I was able to upload it to my computer. So I have the movie actually saved on my computer. Now then, I'll be right back, folks. I gotta go to the little bathroom, if you know what I mean. <laughs> For this one, we'll be checking on a classic, The, War the Witch Night Out. It started with two kids, small and tender, getting ready for Halloween, dressing up as a werewolf and ghost. But the adults, Melissa's, and, well, they were all being think that Halloween was silly for kids. Until nice said, no, I think we should celebrate Halloween to make it fun. Yet the animation is very old. It's a classic, though. So the adults went to get ready for Halloween. As for small and tender, they got ready for Halloween. However, there was a witch that was so depressed that no one gave her attention. She was all alone board until she hears the men nice and hears the two men walk into her house and saying that they're gonna make it to a great Halloween party and everything. And the witch gets so excited for the nice festivities. But meanwhile, small and tender, dressed up as a werewolf, girls did their Halloween fun. However, every time when they went out to get candy, they would say, Cute! We're cute! No, we're not meant to be scary. And every time when they got to her house, bam, they thought they were cute. Until they got to Melissa's house, and they were told they were too cute. And believe me, ugh, Melissa's was making some bad food for the party. Very gross. Very disgusting, really. But then as they go out for Halloween, they get babysit by Bazoo, the best babysitter ever. They really think their Halloween was very, was not that good. Not very good at all. Not very good party at all. Then, well, the witch was depressed, but then later I heard the pie should come down, but she didn't know what to do, how to get down and show them. But then she hears the wish of two small children, small and tender, and they wish to be monsters. And as the fairy godmother, as they were reading, as she, Bazooey was reading a story of fairy godmother granted wishes, they wanted wishes. So they came and grant these monster wishes. The girl would be turned to a ghost, and the boy would be turned into a werewolf. And as their babysitter Bazooey was turning to Frankenstein, the witch then takes him to the Halloween party in progress in an isolated mansion at the edge of town. However, the citizens of town get offended at the thought of real monsters in a town, though, but that was before they added a little fun. And believe me, most of the parts were very fun to watch, especially the food turned into spiders coming out of their mouths and all that. But then, until unfortunately, they thought they were monster town. Nicely was trying to get them to be friendly with the monster, but a goodly a blue idiot himself said that we shouldn't go and kill them and all that. And unfortunately, when they get attention to a woman named Melissa and able to turn Bazoo and the kids back to human due to the fact that Melissa and his part and her partner kind of stole the wand and they were using it to uh, want to get money. But every time when they tried to get money, they got garbage, junk, anything really. The, the children really wanted to turn back to them old selves. But then the witch, they were able to get their wand back, but then the witch teased those two and turned them to monsters themselves, and they were attacked by the town people. Then the witch stopped. They were told to stop. Those are not monsters. They're our friends. And then she used the lonely magic to turn them back. It didn't change everything. But the people of the town were very amazed by the power, and they asked, can you please turn us what we want for Halloween? And then she did turn the boy back to a good girl, back to a werewolf, and back goes to a boy. Sorry, mm, reverse. A girl into a ghost, a boy into a werewolf, and Bazooey, a Frankenstein. And each of them got their wishes. 
goodly as to be a Viking. Melissa wanted to be a, well, just as a fairy princess, and nicely a vampire. And she had a bikini on her if you watch the special. And Melissa has to be a little fairy godmother. And everyone else enjoyed their Halloween. It was awesome. Definitely the witch used powder restore everything and make everything good for Halloween. This was a classic one. Also, a disco song entitled Witch Magic Song in the film. This was a classic cartoon. I don't know if any of you young folks out there don't know what I'm talking about, but this was a classic. It was called Witch Night. It was a it was a cartoon that was made in Canada. Of Halloween special premiered on A on NBC in October twenty seventh, nineteen seventy eight. Produced as a tool. Tuno Studios, the sequel to the 1974 special Gift of Winter, with vocal talent by Dan Ackroyd, Vela Bomfrey, a featured voice of Florin Reyes as Nicely, and Katrina O'Hare as Melissa's, and Glader Rated as the titled Witch. Like the other specials, Witch Night was produced by Johnson and Rogers, known as John Leach, and Jen Rankin for NBC. Later aired on Fox and Cho and Disney Channel every year, 1983. Late 1990s, that's where I love watching it. This cartoon film was released on videotape August 5th, 1986 by Family Home Entertainment. However, this show is very hard to find these days. You usually have to go get a YouTube or DVDs or anything. But luckily, it was on a DVD. If you guys want to check it out, go and check it out. Now then, folks, I am going. I did three reviews in this review, so I hope you guys enjoy it. So, adios, everybody. And... Don't forget to shut the lights and close the curtains. Monsters are about blue! <laughs> Happy Halloween to all of you. Enjoy the Halloween night. Yes, yes, yes. See you. Okay, my brony watchers. Remember to subscribe to my channel. And remember, there's always more with me than meets the eye. Or, should I say, more than meets a white rose. Night, folks. Hee <laughs> hee.